tutorial I want to talk about random and show you with a small example how you can use it to uh, produce uh, different extrusion for different panels as you can see this is a random extrusion for panels so First of all, uh, I can find random by double clicking on the canvas and searching for RAN and here it is, the random and you can also find it, it in, uh, you can r use Control alt click to find that you can see it's in the sets and in the sequence and here it is this is of the random tool uh, I'm going to explain a little bit about random and how it works and, and then we will go into the video tutorial and explain about the panels. So first of all the first input is the range. Uh, what you can do here is basically it's better to go to the math sec uh, section and use the construct domain tool. Okay. I'm going to give this to the range and you can easily define the minimum and maximum range of the random tool so we can use a 2.5 here and uh, 10 here so you can easily see that the range will be 2.5 to 10 uh, the next input is the number of random numbers you want so you can easily give a 20 numbers so let me just connect a panel to this random tool and you can see that we have 20 different numbers from uh, 2.5 to 10 and the last input is the seed of the random you can easily change that with a, um, a random number so I'm basically giving it from 1 to 1 10,000 so you can change these uh, sequences with the seed so you can see if I change that to maybe 7000 we have 7.7 8.1 and if I just move that to another number that will change and if I uh, again give the 7000 you will see that we have the same numbers so it's basically a random generator but you can access each uh, sequence you want with the number you, you are giving here in the seed inputs okay so let's get started because I want to explain uh, more about random we can start with an arc here I will draw an arc and then I will extrude that to the Z direction and I have a surface and next we will use ISO trim to uh, produce the panels so uh, we can just search for arc ARC and this is the simplest thing you can have the most simple arc uh, producing tool is this uh, orange arc one which will produce an arc in a plane you can also have a three point or a CD which we talked in the previous tutorials okay I will give an arc here and the plane the default plane is XY so you can you, you can see that okay that's the arc you can give it a radius so I'm giving a number to this you can change that and you can give an angle here and you can see it's about uh, the P so uh, it's a, a radian number so we can easily change this by giving a P to this tool a P can easily be managed so we can have from 0 to 2 and I'm giving it a 2.00 uh, so we have two numbers here okay and you can easily see that we can grow this arc from zero to a whole circle okay so this will be the arc now let's extrude that you can extrude this uh, in a z direction I'm going to give it a z and let's just give it a number okay Here you can see that we will have uh, extrusion. If I give this random to the Z you can uh, see that we will have 20 different extrusions here. You can also use this to produce different 
angles, different uh, extrusions. So let me just change this example will be a great one. So let's just change this random and copy paste this control C, control V and give this from 0 to 2 zero to this so I'm going to start with zero to two and if we have 20 so we will have 20 for the, uh, mm, the angle here so uh, let's just change this you can see that I have different angles and the next thing will be the radius so why not just copy paste this and give this to the radius Okay, so I'm going to give this to the radius and define the min and the max radius of that. So it's going to be 2.5, maybe 25.5. And here you can see that we will have different extrusions. Okay, I'm going to change the extrusion to a more number. And you can see that we can easily have different extrusion different radiuses and different angles for the arc okay that's not our example so I'm going to just turn back and have this here okay and this will be our surface so basically now we need the panels so I'm going to use the isotrim tool you can also find it in the surface utility and here it is uh, I've talked about isotrim in a uh, complete video tutorial command about isotrim so uh, what I'm going to use here is a divide domain I uh, explained that why we use a divide domain too uh, with the isotrim because we can divide that surface into uh, different panels so that's a divide domain too give that to the surface and give that to the domain to and we can give any number we want to the U count and the V count okay so basically we have the surfaces now we can extrude them by this random so the extrusion will not be in uh, an X or Y or a Z direction so I'm going to give this extrude to the isotrim uh, output but what is the direction so here we need the Z direction of these panels so basically uh, what I'm going to give this is uh, eval uh, evaluate this surface these surfaces by double clicking and searching for eval and here we have it evaluate surface or going to the surface section and here it is analysis section evaluate surface and give this surface uh, I've talked about evaluate surface in a video tutorial uh, command about the grasshopper command evaluate surface we right click on that and reparameterize so we have a 0 to 1 1 uh, dimension and we can give it an MD slider and it will just evaluate that surface in any point we want but basically we don't um, we don't care about where where is the normal uh, output coming out so we can put that uh, whatever you want okay and use the normal of the surface to extrude so I'm going to use this normal let's connect a vector thing to that okay and now we can just multiply that normal with a random number so let's just go and have a math uh, multiplication and multiply the normal with a random number you can control that and here is the most important thing how many random vectors do we need it's basically uh, the number of the surfaces it's 144 so we can count those by searching for length and choosing list length what is the length of these surfaces and it will count it so you can find it also in the sets and here we go this length section and you can easily find this 144 panels you can also 
uh, count 12 multiplied by 12 but this is an easy way to just count the surfaces or what uh, whatever out you are just counting so basically we need 144 random numbers and we have that uh, normal direction and we can give this to the direction part and that's the extrusion you can see that the extrusion is coming in so we can just easily uh, give a, a minus x where wherever we want we can give it here we can give it here we can give it here so I'm going to right click on the normal and use the expression input and give it a minus one and here it is okay so basically that's the surface a random extruding surface let me just connect from display and the custom preview tool so we can see those panels okay we can change the extrusion change the height uh, we can change the angle And we can also change the numbers of the panels here, the divide domain count. And we can also control the minimum and the maximum number of extrusion multipliers. Okay. If you give it a minus here, let's just check this out, minus 10, you will also have uh, extrusion inverts will have inwards and outwards extrusion so be aware of this you can also give it a minus extrusion it will be in the negative uh, vector of the extrusion we gave it here okay so that's it you can use the bake button to have the panels we have them here you can also change the a sequence by changing the number of the seed okay you can see that you can have different panels here I can basically have the edges out so let me just change the color have a swatch so that would be a T uh, give it a just black color here and let's just go to the surface analysis and use the BRAP edges okay and have the uh, interior ones another color so I'm going to give this to the interior and change that to another color okay so you can see it better uh, okay so that's that's example you can change the numbers you can play with the extrusions you can uh, have different uh, sequence of random numbers you can change the panels you can easily have changed the Z number the extrusion and also the radius we can scale it up and we can also just change uh, the angle of the arc if we give it a 2 we'll have a circle here uh, and that's it um, there are many many ways you can use the random tools so a uh, random tool I will explain that in the grasshopper course section uh, about the random or generating generating random numbers uh, thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to put it in this video I will uh, try to answer you and thank you for watching